Try to do right and think right. I've got a slogan. Do right, your duty to God. Think right, that's your duty to yourself, and you've got to come out right. And if you'll try to practice the right thing, see, it'll grow around you just like a vine. It'll hug you into it. And if you can't love your enemy just as much as you love those who love you, there's something wrong somewhere. See? Now, not just think you, it's my duty to love my enemy. You've got to really love him. I was sponsored by a group of people just recently. Fine people. Nothing against them. Their ideas is their ideas. I draw no lines. But this group of people, 72 churches sponsored, and they have a, a way of they baptize by immersing in a, a way that the others do not believe in baptizing that way. So uh, this one the district presbyter called me and said, Brother Branham, you had a man on the platform last night that was baptized wrong. Well, maybe he was. And he said, well, we're just going to draw a little line. You're too compromising. I said, just a minute. I said, that brother had the Holy Ghost, didn't he? He said, well, he could not have his sins remitted because he wasn't baptized for the remission of his sins. I said, but God gave him the Holy Ghost. So if God accepted him like that, I do too. <laughs> and listen, I would rather be scripturally wrong and have the right kind of a spirit than be scripturally right and have the wrong kind of spirit. No. It's what's in you that displays itself. That's what your, your life proves what you are. This man said, I'm, we're drawing a little rain, and we're drawing you out of our circles. I said, then I'm going to draw a little rain and draw you back in again. <laughs> so I, I said, bring you right back. Uh, you can't put me out, because God put me in, see? So you can't, you can't put me out, so that's the way we're going to do, see? Believe that. You're a wonderful group of brothers. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is that like to that above. Let me say this to you as your brother, and I'm just past 26 years old the other day, you know. You know that, didn't you? I meant the second time, see? <laughs> so I don't know how long I'll be with you. I don't know about that. But let me tell you a little secret. The most powerful force in the world isn't speaking with tongues or interpreting tongues or being honored by God to be a minister or to be an evangelist or to be a prophet. The most powerful weapon that I've ever found in my life is love. It'll, the filial love, which the Greek word comes from friendship like you have for your wife. There's a difference. It'll make a mother for that baby run to a blazing fire. Her life means nothing. That's filial. What will agapo do? See? The godly love. We must love, divinely love one another. Then you don't see your brother's mistake. If he does make a mistake, you never you look over the top of it and you love him anyhow. See? That's it. Love those that love you, then does not the sinner the same thing? But love those who doesn't love you. That's what shows the Spirit of God is in you, because he loved you when you were his enemy, and he loved you. And if that Spirit's in you, it'll make you love your enemy as you do your friend.